Hello, and welcome back to the Yuan Pizzazz channel. Today, we're going to be creating this really neat typewriter effect. All right, let's get started here. Let's open up After Effects. We're going to start off by creating a new comp. We're going to make the dimensions 1920 by 1080. You can change this depending on your project. We'll keep the frame rate at 30 frames per second, and I'm going to change the duration to five seconds. Once you're done that, press OK. We're going to start off by creating a white background. I'm going to just right click here, press new, and then create a new solid. We're going to leave it as white and I'm just going to rename it as background. Press OK. Now we're going to click the text tool up here and we're going to click on the screen. I'm going to type type writer effect. So I'm going to highlight this. We're going to make it a black. Press OK. And I'm going to search for the typewriter font. American typewriter. We're going to go with regular. Let's go ahead and increase the scale. And we're going to go under the align tab and we're going to align it on the screen. So it is perfectly centered. I'm just going to change the resolution to full so you can see it in all of its glory. Now let's go ahead and add the effect. So under the text layer, you can click the arrow here and we're going to click animate character offset. Beside the animator one tab, we're going to hit add property opacity. We're going to change the opacity to zero and then we're going to open up range selector one. We're going to make keyframes for the start tab for zero and a hundred. So let's start at zero, move this all the way across to about here. I'm going to change this to 100. So now you have two keyframes, one at zero and one at 100. Under the advanced tab, we're going to open that up. We're going to change the smoothness to zero. Perfect. Now go ahead and close those up. Now let's see how it looks. So that looks great. Now let's take a look at these keyframes again. We're going to hit U on the keyboard to look at them. And I'm just going to push it in a little closer so it's a little faster. Great! And if you want to leave it there, that's fine. But what I'm going to do is add a little sound effect to this typewriter effect to make it seem a little more realistic. Make sure to download the sound effect in the description below. I have it right here and I'm just going to drag it on to the comp here. Now let's take a listen. I'm just going to end it right at that last letter here and I'm going to make a cut by hitting command shift D and I'm going to delete this. Drag it to a place you're happy with it. All right, I'm happy with that. And that's it folks, I hope you learned something new today and if you did, please give this video a like and comment down below what you would like to see next. If you like Premiere Pro, After Effects, or Photoshop tutorials, make sure to hit that subscribe button because there's a lot more videos coming. Have a fantastic day folks, bye!